Uh, my name is Barry Schnorr. I'm the CEO of David Schnorr Associates. I'm really excited to share some thoughts, tools, case studies, and ideas with you today. For 40 years, David Schnorr Associates have acted as the dedicated technical sales team for some of the world's best and most innovative companies in medical device components, materials, and manufacturing. We specialize in complex things for interventional devices and implants for all sorts of systems from ophthalmology to structural heart to robotic surgery. We've got a global team of experienced sales engineers. Today, we're gonna to focus on tools for you to use in stages one and two. What are the biggest challenges in getting a medical device to market? And have these changed in 2020? Not really. I mean, circumstances, technology, and the economy have shifted, but your core ch challenges remain the same. Resources, speed, innovation, and of course, cost. And of course, speed is so important in early stage development because time is absolutely critical, not just for burn rate and cost, but to get great products to market quickly to solve urgent medical needs, iterate, make those design cycles move faster. And this pandemic has not made it easier. Unfortunately, we have FedEx, amazing digital modeling and rapid prototyping tools, but it's harder to count on suppliers and local shops dealing with COVID restrictions, employee childcare and homeschooling. And despite the sophistication of modeling tools, complex delivery systems and components are a great challenge because the materials themselves, and particularly in combination, are unique and complex systems operating in unique and complex systems. So at some relatively early stage, you have to build models. And to do that, you need materials on hand that are at least close to where you're going to end up. And finally, I wanted to talk about the role of outsourced design and development firms in providing critical outsourcing resources to supplement your own team's capabilities. There is an incredible network of these firms, many with a very local focus, and we continue to see their role grow and expand throughout the industry. They can provide a source for either a small expert component design or some support an entire product development program for a multinational customer. But again, the challenge is to truly understand each company's expertise and engage with the right firm. A full discussion of this is absolutely the topic for another day and an entire, you know, probably a whole afternoon of discussion on a particular topic. But please let us know how we can help. Here's a quick example. There's a tremendous design expertise for steerable catheter shafts and handles inside of Nordson Medical's design development group in Colorado. Do you know how to get to them and get a sense of the scope of that program? That's something that the DSA team can help with. 